Sports agent Lee Steinberg blames alcoholism for bankruptcy. Sports agent Lee Steinberg inspired the iconic Show Me the Money line in the Jerry Maguire movie. Ironic, Lee Steinberg has filed for bankruptcy protection. Alcohol was his downfall, both in the imbibing and in the recovering. While in alcoholism rehabilitation, he lost track of the nitty-gritty details of one's personal life and things, like a million-plus owed, kind of piled up. So he said, enough. When the Grim Reaper debt collector starts harassing family, it's time to pull up stakes and start again. Many of us, make that most of us, have money problems these days. It's why most of us won't engage in schadenfreude, which means, in German, to enjoy vicariously the downfall of others. We know we're but a paycheck or two from being in the same boat. Not that we don't consider sports agents as rotten as lawyers, we do. Half the time they act as wannabe GMs, hectoring the real general manager to play or trade their client. And whether Lee Steinberg was a rat or not, we expect him to go down the sinking ship. But after hearing Lee's story, albeit from his slant, you come away feeling that this guy might be one in a million who, despite the nightmare of booze addiction and fuzzy wuzzy thinking, tried to do the right thing, tried to make amends, realized he made mistakes, owned up to these mistakes, blamed no one else for his basic plight, and now believes, moreover, that he still has much to offer for athletes once he gets the debt monkey off his back. America loves the rags to riches to rags to redemption story. It's in America's DNA to cheer them on their way up, boo them on top, razz them on their way down, and root for them as they scratch and scramble to right themselves again. Armchair quarterbacks are especially both surface when one with gumption flies too close to the sun. Sneers are safely out of harm's way, safe to scoff. It can't be too far down the road before Hollywood makes a movie about the life and times of Lee Steinberg, whether it's an allegory like Jerry Maguire or a true life story based on Lee's wonderful ups and movie downs, it's sure to be a doozy. Once you've been steamrolled and are flatter than Saskatchewan, just how hard would it be to, let's preclude climbing back to the top, that's crazy talk, at least make it back to a level of functionality, if not respectability. He's going to need his smarts. Let's assume he's not too addled by alcohol. From goals ranging from combating steroid abuse with young athletes to fighting climate change via the Sporting Green Alliance, it sounds like he's got his motivations, if not his marbles. He's obviously been getting moral and possibly financial support for he's landed on his feet and re-established a foothold in the sports and entertainment industry with SSE, Steinberg Sports and Entertainment. But financially, he had to take stock of the situation. He realized his only assets were some stock. He had a big bill of 1.4 mil owed to Irvine Company, so his attorneys filed a Chapter 7 petition. Does it confound you that one with massive money troubles can afford to hire attorneys? How do lawyers get paid? Anyway, what exactly is a Chapter 7 petition? Under Chapter7.com, for example, the first thing you learn is that you can picture yourself debt-free. Well, that sounds good. But right below, as you check out boxes as to what puts you in a financial straitjacket box, you realize how messy life can be. Divorce, garnishment, mob debt, just kidding on that one. Repossession, foreclosure, lawsuits, and the vaunted other make one wonder why they agreed to sign on the dotted line and enter the birthing contract at all. Stay. Not with a live life decision, that's your coin toss, but stay is what most cases of Chapter 7 provide, stopping creditors instantaneously from bugging you further for payments. The stay offers a respite from the financial fights, but to get to this personal space, you have to provide the court with your whole financial story from A to Z. Not easy, when one considers the humiliation and amassing in one thick file the indictment of your FUBAR predicament. Steinberg's got perspective. Talking negotiation skills, tactics and strategies, he's not one of those scorched earth, winner take all, taunt and flaunt guys. He does realize the other side has wishes and wants that are important. He espouses a win-win philosophy. So, if he can start fresh financially and doesn't relapse into rot gut, he says he's been sober since 2010, maybe he will again succeed in wooing up and coming athletes and budding entertainers. He has instructed possibilities, witnesses teaching at UCI Law School where he gives his two cents worth in the niceties of negotiation in the entertainment industry. His public speaking career is busier than a bee on speed and, importantly, he doesn't come across as a crybaby. He can live with the band against representing NFL stars. He can reach, literally and metaphorically, for other stars to follow and other good causes and good works to chase. He can get his honor, dignity and self-worth back whole, all without selling his soul. Now that'd be a role.